Hey guys, how are you all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our TD sequential look at the major indices. So we will go straight over to those charts. So yep, yeah, starting off with the S&P as we always do. You can see that we, um, well, we have this pendant formation um, on the four hour um, that we subsequently um, broke to the downside of. And um, we have this horizontal um, horizontal level that we are we are working off which we pretty much came came just about down to and touched um, and before bouncing off back up to test the uh, well nearly test the 786 again <clears throat> and now it looks like um well it looks like we're potentially coming back down to this horizontal but what we may end up doing like we kind of did here we may end up just form another another tightening formation um, <clears throat> but um well yeah but if if we if we don't obviously if we come back and take out this level again i'd expect some more downside <coughs> and then move down to either this horizontal or either this six one eight that we originally targeted from the move down um or failing that if we do um go back up again this is this obviously high here is obviously an important level for us now um because it's an important level because <coughs> it obviously taking that out would indicate we are um, potentially forming going back into an uptrend um, with a low a high a lower high a lower, sorry a higher low and then a higher high so um, <clears throat> this is an important level we'll draw this on this is an important level now um, to reconfirm the uptrend um, so yeah obviously obviously look at a break above there as of as of, as of potential significance and then we clearly got the breakdown level which we will just move that out of the way a little bit now the breakdown level that we actually um highlighted highlighted as an area that if we close below that we'll potentially see a move down in which which case we were targeting these levels um so yeah so that's the four hour nothing td sequential wise we, we got nearly the nine well we did get the nine on the four hour but um obviously price had already topped and come down a bit um, but yeah, that sort of that sort of held price up round about where it is at now at the moment. So I mean, again, taking out these highs, I'd expect uh, more upside, and taking out these lows, I'd expect more downside. So I mean, for the time being, maybe we're just going to play out this um, this sort of range here. Um, we'll just have to see have to see what happens over to the twelve hour. Um, not much really TD wise in the twelve hour, and as you can see, we're just. Um, we're just deciding whether we are going to start. We're going to make uh, make some lower lows, or whether we can have a have a developing uh, a new developing uptrend. Um, but obviously, at the moment, you can see we've got the high, the lower. Um, sorry, the high, the low, the lower high. And I guess if we take this out, um, I mean that would um, that would definitely um, signal to me a move down to at least a point five. But potentially the three eight two. So that's what's at stake at the moment. We potentially hold this level make this a a higher low relative to this low and then push on upwards through this high or on the larger time frame we're going to take out this low um form a lower low and then confirm a a larger time frame downtrend so there's quite a bit of stake s p wise um, but at the moment we've got pretty much air on the side of, of bullishness i would guess because the trend is up um this is still only really a a pennant formation a bull flag um as as it stands so this um, would indicate um, a higher likelihood of higher likelihood of more upside. Um, so that's what we're looking at in the S and P. Nasdaq. Nasdaq is obviously um, Nasdaq is obviously the strongest, the strongest of the major bourses. That's what we, that's what you call them. Apparently, that's the name bourses. Um, these are indexes. Um, so yeah, um, I mean you can kind of see we're tightening up here, tightening formation again. Again, I mean, is it going to be a bull flag? Are we just going to play out a bit of a range up here? Um, is it going to be distribution up here and before we then have the markdown phase? Um, we'll have to see how this plays out. But clearly, um, taking out this high here at 10,150, we'll call it, um, will we'll obviously clearly indicate more upside. So we'll draw that in. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's literally above there. All time, all time highs. Um, on, onwards onwards and upwards um but yeah failing that what i'm looking at to the downside um well it mainly is this level here really i mean we sort of flashed below it a couple of times but we've we've not managed to hold under this level so i think if we don't make if we don't take get to new highs make a high here make this sorry a local high come back down and take this out i think we'll we'll, we'll come down and test it i think we're gonna we've got to look at realistically targeting the 200 daily at some point whether it whether 
the 200 daily is up here at that point or down here um but yeah we've got to we've got to look at that the russell um the russell is obviously holding its trend line um it's got the 200 day as resistance now um as you can see here i think we nearly touched it and we have got this um trend line as support and also this sort of horizontal level here so we're getting squeezed um on the russell um so i'd expect um a bit a few more days of squeezing maybe maybe to the end of this week um well it's friday tomorrow isn't it well to the end of this week um and then early next week we'll make a decision of be that or be that down or down or up um so the uso uso looks to be stalling here on the daily time frame and uh, we broke the trend line we've got a low currently got this um lower high i'm um, going to take out this this low of this candle to confirm this as a lower high and then if we take out this low here then i believe it will be mm, more downside more downside for uso so that's kind of the level we're looking at there um i'm not sure whether i will bother drawing it on but obviously regaining i will draw it on regaining this level and going back up to the upside um will will probably um trigger more upside movement gold is not been that interesting at the moment you can see it here on the daily um i mean you can see here by these daily and moving averages they're just converging on each other um no real no real movement we just i mean do you want to look at this um this is this is basically a case of distribution at the high um just it looks like a case of distribution at the high and then we're potentially going to have a markdown phase but then it could be it could be accumulation it could be more accumulation going on here um but obviously more often than not it's distribution that happens at the highs but um so i mean are we looking at a markdown in this down to the 200 day and then deciding whether we're going to hold there and then then pump all the way up or are we gonna or are we just gonna just gonna move up from here um difficult to call trend is your friend i mean all i will say is we've got clear defined levels so we haven't really got to worry about a lot here um, and the four hour does work four hour td nines do work pretty well for gold so we can we can keep eyes out for entries um entries on the four hours we've got a nice 12 hour nine down here like a brilliant 12 hour nine and then i mean based on just here this just looks like a tightening formation um tightening formation stroke ball flag we'll just move this over here no, we won't. We'll just. Oh, what are we doing? We're drawing stuff. Um, we will delete this now. We will draw a little um, pennant in that we've got going on, and yeah, break out of here um, is what we are are looking at for the next move. I mean, how far do I think this next move will take us? Breaking out this tightening formation, probably only either to the top or the bottom of the range, um, and then obviously breaking out of that will depend on <laughs> depend on what what we want to do when we're up there what the, what the buyers and sellers want to do when we're there but yeah this is what we've got going at the moment tiny formation right silver um yeah still looking still looking very head and shouldery eh? but um we've not um well depending on whether you draw this this horizontal or whether you draw it sort of slanted um you could say we've broken it or you could say we haven't but um it does look like a <laughs> complex head and shoulders let's have a look on the daily um yeah i mean a bit more clearly on the daily i mean this is the line anyway there's nothing really for us to worry too much i mean if we this is the confirmation line um 17 basically about 17 dollars so that's the level we've got to watch and it just coincide with the 200 daily look at that test down to the 200 daily and perfect bounce off it i mean my, the overall posture on this i would say is um well is relatively bullish um is bullish but obviously we've got to take out these highs so let's just extend this along a bit take out these highs and then take out those highs i reckon we'll, we'll get a move pretty swiftly up to up to up to over 20 dollars which will be um over the 19 and a bit dollars recent high we had yeah 19 and a half dollars so yeah that's what i'm expecting there and that'll probably trigger some more buys actually at that level gold silver ratio what is that looking like um yeah, maybe looking like it's played out this little bounce. If we, I mean, these are still going to be the important levels, I think. Um, yeah, these are still going to be the important levels. We'll, we'll potentially move this up to here now, and then obviously this being the low. So these are sort of the level. Break back into here, maybe form, maybe play inside this channel, um, and then we are looking to break below here and break break below the two hundred day. So that's gold silver ratio. Copper, how is copper doing? 
yeah getting supported getting supported still by the top of this channel are we gonna get bounce off that and then continue upwards i would i would suggest this is the level this is the buy level for copper um get back above here then the uh, the sky's the sky's the limit um are we gonna get an inflationary backdrop that's gonna push commodities higher or failing that we're gonna get a deflationary one get us back in this channel get us back to the bottom part of this channel and then get us basically breaking below that channel we will we will have to see um wheat has got um he's basically playing with his horizontal he's not decided what he wants to do yet um so um we obviously will await to see whether it starts to break up um, i think the safest level to buy if we break up is above this candle here so we'll just adjust this arrow here a bit um i mean we're not we would only really say we're going to target the 200 daily a bit conservative but yeah um <clears throat> but we are looking like we are potentially going to play out the weaker the weaker side we are looking like we're under this so uh maybe you're going to get this downside but um Again, I do think um, I, I mean, this is the fundamental view that I just need to not have. But I do think commodities are going to start are going to start to catch a bid at some point, um, especially these um, these food <laughs> food based commodities. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Um, that's not straight. Oh, that's that's straight enough. Right. So 12 hour. Do we have anything TD wise to look at? Um, we had a nice 12 hour nine there that got us a bit of a bounce but we're now we're back below that nine so that is showing weakness that is we dropped out this attending triangle which is showing weakness also i'm guessing we're getting a four hour buy about somewhere sometime soon uh, um no we didn't didn't really get one not really much direction here off the four hour um yeah i'll just wait for wait for i mean to be honest um you should potentially be in a short trade and you stops either here or just above here so you may be out of that trade now but you may or you may want to take the short trade again and have the stop to higher up um because it is looking like we have dropped out of this so we may um we may basically go lower um but yeah that's your buy level i think um right what is this home depot home depot um come on oh have we just not got any annotations for this yeah, we did. So we got the sell below. Um, didn't really get the move that we were looking for. Um, stayed below for a little bit and then pushed back up. And now it's looking quite strong. So if that's the four hour daily, not um, yeah, daily nine. Not not too much. Not too much to read off that. I mean, it's a case of um, are we gonna? It's, it's this is very similar to the S and P. Are we gonna put in? Are we gonna break the high or we're we gonna break this low? So that's really the two levels that we're looking at in that. Um, Chlorex. Oh, looking good. This is guys looking good, looking good. This is looking good for a um, for a second wave, which is not what we really want. But this is what Chlorex is telling us. Um, yeah, so this is buy now. This is buy. Looks like it's onwards and upwards for Chlorex. So, um, yeah, we did. We obviously we had this channel drawn. If we bounced off here, this was the level. Bounce back up to here. If not, we're gonna break down to the 200 day. But yeah, we've literally got the move play out. So that's that, and we're above it. So let's bet more upside. I mean. Yeah, that's a bit more upside. We're we gonna get. Have we got any twelve hour or four hour nines or anything that's gonna potentially hold up price anytime soon? Mm, not twelve hour. Um, no, not four hour either. So yeah, and nothing really to stop this going up now. So this is. I'll say this is a buy. This is a buy. Let's look at um T doc. I know T doc has been doing extremely well. T doc nearly getting up to our buy level now. Look, you can see. Um, at top of our channel we've got drawn it's getting it's edging there it's edging there guys um yeah how is it going to do is it going to run into some td um interference um this sort of move here is going to make the count struggle a bit but no yeah two more day two more days then this is looking two more days up to up to 200 plus daily nine and then i think maybe we're going to get a move back down so it's kind of kind of what i'm looking at here um t doc is a sell in a couple of days at this at this resistance with a uh with a stop just above it um or failing that you just wait for us to break above it and then when we come back down sell it um tesla one last look one last uh, one last one to look at tesla tesla hovering around those highs hovering around those highs we broke down but got back up again i mean this is um this is a lot of strength from from this company so yeah um i'll just keep my fundamental views to myself 
Um, but yeah, chart wise, chart wise, looking good, looking good. We had a move down which quickly got bought up. Yeah, this is looking great. This is guys. I mean, it's looking good. Uh, moving averages all looking good. Look, 250, 25, uh, 21, getting guided up by the 21. Yeah, this all looks good. I mean, these are blue skies, really. I mean, at any point, this can pop up like two hundred dollars just because, just for because there's no price history up here. Um, yeah, um, this is yeah. I mean, it's it's obviously going to potentially follow, roughly speaking, the wider markets. But um, this is looking very bullish. Right, so that's the end of the video, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and yeah, and I will um, speak to you guys soon.